All right, so I uh, I coach driving some of the time, uh, mostly performance driving, but we do some off-road. And in off-road, most of the time we're coaching uh, very specific on-road stuff, um, you know, that refers to loss of traction and stuff like that. Um, and we do a little bit of off-road and we, we try to m kind of align the two so that they match, but it's very difficult because you're dealing with different things in off-road than you are with on-road. Uh, some things just don't overlap. So one of them is articulation. So articulation, what is articulation? Articulation as the suspension articulates through its movement, its ability to do that, or its inability to do that. Um, if you look at it, one of the major differences in articulation, because you need, you need travel either way. But one of the things uh, that is very different is how does an independent suspension uh, articulate versus a solid rear axle. And so I have a 2020 Ford Ranger here. This is uh, the truck I drive the most. It has an independent front suspension and a solid rear axle. Uh, sometimes when I coach off-road driving, I'm in a vehicle that has four wheel independent suspension. So independent all the way around. Very different articulation. Um, you know, some say better, some say worse. You know, Jeep Wrangler, solid front, solid rear axle. Uh, same thing with the G or older G wagons. Um, me personally, I think handling driving wise, steering wise is better with an independent front, you know, and then having good power delivery in the rear with a solid rear, good for trucks. Uh, independent all around and half shafts and stuff probably wouldn't be that ideal. Um, so here I have like a twist ditch. So I'm going diagonal over this hump here and you see the front suspension is articulated fully, so fully that like I can push it down right there. It's not even touching the ground. Um, and this is fully uh, drooped. This is tucked up. Uh, what does the other side look like with the solid rear axle? That's what it looks like. So you get a little bit of a tilt. You get a tilt that happens with the contact patch because it's connected in a straight line. You get, see how the, the fully uh, left ground there, it's kind of touching on the outside edge there. This one in the front, fully on the contact patch on the ground. And that's compressed, not all the way, but it's compressed. This one fully drooped. If it was touching, it'd have a really good contact patch. So, this truck has a locker in the rear. That is what I operated here. That's that button there. So I've activated, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's an orange light there. That's gonna get, cause if I did not, so if I take the locker off, let's see. So that worked with the locker because I think we had contact on the driver's side, the left side. Because we had the contact there, that's where the power was going before, was losing. But it worked that time. And we didn't have any momentum. So watch, I'll go over it going the other direction. And you'll see. Watch, I'm gonna try to keep this as level as possible. Just watch the horizon here as we go through this and we start to drop. So there is the full left, we got the driver, or a passenger rear tire here, so right rear, completely off the ground. Let's see what the articulation looks like now. So what does it look like now? Going the other direction, we have a fully drooped, or not fully drooped, pretty, eh, pretty articulated there. So the front suspension is pretty level, but you can see that right rear is completely off the ground. You can see it's, yeah, that's completely extended, obviously. And we have almost a fully compressed driver rear there. So that is articulation. Um, you know, that's, that's the best example that I can give anyway of articulation.
I'm sure I could show you in a diagram, but I don't draw diagrams. So. Now watch, let's see. See if we need the locker in the rear. What's nice about this locker, I'm like, there we go. I'm like some of the lockers I've used in other vehicles. You can engage it. Um, you can engage it without four wheel drive on. Now we're touched down right rear. It looks like we don't even, because we've got that downhill, we don't even need the locker. So there you go. I don't know if it's a good example, whatever, but I'll post it, we'll see.